Here's your Alabama WX weather video for this Monday morning, Christmas Day. James is on vacation, so I've got the video for you all week. And uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you get to have a very uh, wonderful and peaceful day uh, with your families today. As we record this video just after midnight, uh, showers are uh, moving across Alabama at this hour. You can see there, these are dew points um, showing up uh, the, the numerical values. Uh, generally in the 50s, uh, but we notice a 66 degree dew point at um, Gulf Shores. And um, for that reason, the SPC uh, does have uh, a mesoscale discussion they just issued a couple of minutes ago. Uh, for extreme southeastern Mississippi, southwestern Alabama, the western part of the Florida panhandle, uh, they're saying that uh, enough instability is going to move on shore uh, down here, Mobile, Baldwin, Clark, Monroe, uh, southern Washington counties uh, to produce the threat of some potential severe weather if any uh, robust thunderstorms get going. And that's a possibility. The wind shear is decent. A uh, tiny bit of helicity, just enough for them to call for the you know, chance of a brief tornado. Uh, they'll be watching this area very carefully. Uh, the bigger threat is damaging wind gusts, and, and even that threat is fairly low. They only put the chance of uh, issuing a tornado watch at only about 20%. So that's pretty small, but as we always say uh, when it comes to thunderstorms in Alabama, expect the unexpected. Now, I'm going to take you over to the uh, Gibson Ridge uh, radar here from the National Weather Service in Mobile showing uh, that stronger convection moving on shore now uh, in the Mobile Bay area there. Uh, strong uh, heavy rains over Mobile County moving across Mobile Bay getting ready to move into Baldwin County. Not much lightning. I've seen uh, one or two strokes of lightning but that could be increasing as time goes on. Uh, seen a few little circulations in there so anything that gets going uh, really could uh, begin to develop into something that we'll have to worry about. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll keep a, a very close eye on that as we go through the overnight hours. This is the uh, upper pattern across North America here early on this Christmas morning, uh, showing a big upper level uh, low pressure system that has now closed off over southwestern Nebraska, western Kansas, eastern Colorado. Uh, you see a negatively tilted trough uh, there. Uh, moving through the Mississippi Delta, that's what's causing all this uh, precipitation and making the chances for us to have uh, potential for severe weather over southwest Alabama. But as we go through time today, uh, that low is going to be strengthening. The uh, little trough moving through Alabama will be weakening. But this system is going to be with us all week. Uh, this is uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. That system still over northern Missouri, beginning to move to the southeast, moving into western Kentucky by early Thursday morning and uh, then uh, drifting down into Middle Tennessee uh, by Thursday night into Friday. And so, you know, uh, what do we always say? Uh, upper level low, weatherman's woe, and that's going to be kind of the situation. We'll talk about uh, some of the problems it can cause. Uh, my snow fans out there know some of the problems that it can cause. Certainly it's going to cause uh, cooler temperatures and lots of clouds across Alabama. You see, as we go through the uh, holiday weekend, uh, more troughiness all over the eastern United States. Finally, a little ridging there. Uh, in the uh, middle of the week two period, big storm system uh, crashing onto the California coast there around the 5th and 6th of January. And as we go out to the end of voodoo territory here around uh, Tuesday night the 9th, uh, we've got a ridge over the Great Lakes, big trough over the west, big trough over the east, and uh, pretty much the, uh, the way we've uh, found ourselves uh, for the past um, several months, it seems like. Now, I'm going to go back. Uh, let's use the triple R here, the H triple R. Uh, showing that rain as it was moving into Alabama overnight. Uh, the development of a, a thin line of uh, stronger convection. Showers, maybe a little bit of thunder moving through Alabama this morning. Uh, this would be the uh, image for about 7 o'clock in the morning, showing that heavier rain moving through the Birmingham metro area, moving on into east Alabama. We've got most of the rain east of I-65 here by uh, 18Z, uh, which is noon. But it takes us a good bit of the afternoon to get that activity all the way into Georgia. And we can't rule out a very stray, isolated, small shower uh, through the overnight hours. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Windy out there. We've had wind advisories in effect. Winds will be gusting to about 25 to 30 miles an hour at times. They could occasionally gust to as high as 40 miles an hour today. So be careful with your large Christmas inflatables. Hope you took those down last night or they might be across the street in the neighbor's yard. But as we go on out through the rest of uh, the uh, overnight hours tonight, 
Alabama high and dry into Tuesday. No showers anywhere near us, so uh, we should be in pretty good shape. High temperatures today off the national blend of models for your Christmas Day, uh, ranging from about 63 over northeast Alabama to about 66 to 67 in the Birmingham area. Montgomery area may um, still be um, in the um, uh, 70s tonight. We're starting off course uh, the di- the day today, uh, generally in the in the 50s to lower 60s, but tonight things will be much colder. Cold front should arrive in western Alabama uh, by early afternoon. It'll take a good bit of the day and night uh, to get into Georgia. Uh, lows in the morning will be um, quite a range. Uh, northwest Alabama will be in the 30s, uh, the I-65 quarter there in the 40s, and then as you get to the east of that, uh, we'll see some temperatures um, in the 50s. Uh, for overnight lows, lower 50s at least. This is the GFS, our model of choice, showing that rain beginning to exit the area today. Um, We're going to stay mostly cloudy all day for sure. There will still be a few peaks of sunshine, uh, but as we saw those temperatures, they are going to be still uh, quite nice for today across uh, across the area. The rain should be out of here by by early Tuesday morning. We won't have to deal with anything. You see that upper low there over northwestern Missouri. Uh, Still some showers for Carolinas and Georgia. Some snow there over northern Missouri moving into Illinois. A little bit of uh, rain and snow mix down into western Tennessee, western Kentucky. And we'll have to watch that upper low. Clouds are going to be a feature that we're going to deal with much of the week and cooler temperatures. Uh, We'll probably be in the 50s uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. But we won't get out of the 40s Thursday, Friday, probably Saturday. And uh, overnight lows are going to be in the uh, lower 30s, dropping into the upper 20s. We'll see those on the national blend of models here in just a minute. Now, here's Thursday morning at noon, uh, or Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Showers uh, there from southern Ohio, West Virginia, back through Kentucky, mixing with a little bit of snow. Uh, These upper lows carry a lot of cold air aloft with them, and uh, that could be producing snowflakes for places like Nashville. Uh, Murray, Kentucky, Paducah, Kentucky, down up into uh, southern Illinois. We'll be watching that very closely. As we go through the day, it's still a rain-snow mix over Tennessee. You see that upper low uh, pushing into western Tennessee uh, and those lower thicknesses. Uh, Those thicknesses in blue indicate an atmosphere that's capable of uh, producing snowflakes uh, all the way to the ground. And so there's a little bit of a rain-snow mix there in western Tennessee, heavier snow along the... uh, uh, along the Ohio River there in southern Illinois, southern Indiana, western Kentucky. This is uh, 3 o'clock uh, on Thursday. Uh, a little bit of that uh, light blue getting into north Alabama. So could the upper low bring a little bit of light snow uh, into north Alabama? Yeah, that's possible. We'll have to watch that very closely. Rain snow mix over north Alabama by 6 p.m. Uh, Thursday night. And uh, finally, it's beginning to move on to the east. And uh, anything that is falling uh, will begin to change over. Um, you know, Well, I guess it could change over completely to snow uh, Thursday night into early Friday. So snow fans, snow fans don't get too crazy. Uh, way early to um, even begin forecasting anything like that. And I've got the European here. Uh, If we go out to the same period, um, it's pretty consistent, maybe a little less bullish on the snow side, showing some uh, showers there Thursday night into uh, western Tennessee, uh, northwestern Mississippi. It takes until Friday for those showers to get into Alabama. A little bit of snow there uh, late Thursday night into early Friday morning. Showers down to I-20 during the down Friday. So that's one of the possibilities that could work out for us. We'll see how that goes. So just don't get too excited, but we'll keep a close eye on the forecast. It would be nice to get a little snow, especially in the slow week here uh, between Christmas and New Year's. We are talking now the New Year's Eve weekend, and uh, Saturday looks dry, still chilly, highs in the 40s. Sunday, a little bit warmer, lows our highs in the lower 50s. Looks like we'll continue to be dry. Uh, Sunday night, New Year's Eve, celebrations, fireworks, parties. That should be nice weather. Be a little chilly. Temperatures falling into the 30s after we've been in the lower 50s during the day. And as we move into New Year's Day, 
um, another trough moving our way. It looks like it could uh, scare up a few showers across central Alabama New Year's Day, about the time we're having some black-eyed peas and hopping John, uh, getting ready for a, a brand-new, fun new year coming up, 2024. Going on out into the week two period, some snow moving through the Great Lakes there around Wednesday, uh, the third and fourth. Another system headed our way. Now, this one's got my attention. This is the 18Z run uh, showing the potential for some heavier snow there. Uh, with that uh, coincident with that second trough, that next trough, uh, showing heavy snow, not heavy, but probably moderate snow, over southern Tennessee, northwestern Alabama, northern Mississippi, northern third of Alabama, potentially getting some snow moving on out of here. So that's Thursday the 4th. Um, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we've got the new run out that far. I don't know whether we do or not. Let's see if we do the 0Z run at this point. Um goes out oh yeah it's out there pretty far um that thursday the fourth system though looks a lot warmer on the latest run that just came in so you see where we were seeing snowfall here uh on that thursday the fourth it's now all rain i know uh, snow fans are disappointed i understand it's gonna be a lot of disappointment there always is uh, but hopefully if we continue in these cold weather situations, we'll have something that'll put you some uh, snow down here in Alabama. This is Sunday the 7th um, out there pretty far in Voodoo land, but it does uh, have a wet look for Alabama. Showers, thunderstorms ahead of a cold front. Uh, nothing on the back side of that except some cold air. Uh, let's go back to the uh, 28th, 29th, 30th. It uh, looks like Nashville. Um, you know, Nashville folks going up for the uh, Music City Bowl, Auburn and Maryland. Looks like it's going to be chilly. Looks like that snow would move on out of there. Could be some snow before uh, the folks that are arriving early on the 28th game day, though, on the 30th. Looks dry and chilly in Nashville for our friends heading out to California for the uh, playoff game. Alabama and Michigan on the first uh, looks like the the days leading up are going to be dry you see there in southern california uh, storm system moving through northern california it can bring some windy conditions there to uh, the southern california area around los angeles pasadena where the game will be played but as we move through new year's eve everything looks nice the uh, the Rose Bowl parade on the morning of January 1st looks nice. Temperatures will be uh, in the 40s overnight, and over and daytime highs will be in the 60s. And it looks like the game will be dry uh, at the Rose Bowl for Alabama and Michigan. Of course, uh, our friends uh, from Texas and Washington heading down to New Orleans. I don't know if any of you are watching, but the weather in New Orleans looks really good for the days leading up to and through uh, the Sugar Bowl. These are uh, temperatures off the National Blend of Models, uh, showing uh, uh, our warmest day will be today, 66, falling into the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. And at least notice that I did put the right map up here. Uh, I forgot to put up uh, yesterday the Gulf Shores Jack Edwards Airport map and then put that on the blog. So uh, chalk that up to, to a late, late Christmas Eve uh, for sure. But temperatures will be in the 40s. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll climb back into the uh, 50s, Saturday, or Sunday and Monday, and then we're going to fall back into those uh, kind of cool conditions as we um, as we head into the January um, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th period. Weather brings the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. Last week, we had a great conversation with Greg Carbon. Uh, weather Prediction Center did his meteorological memories for 2023, all the big weather events. A uh, very uh, fun time was had by all. And uh, Thursday, we recorded a show with Tom Skilling that will be released into the wild tonight. Uh, the normal places where you consume your podcasts. Of course, you can go back and look on our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com forward slash weatherbrains, and you can watch that show already in the can. But uh, Weather Brains is the weekly netcast that's all about weather. Well, that's your weather video for this Christmas Day 2023. Um, try to stay dry this morning. Get out and enjoy a little bit, hopefully, of the mild conditions this afternoon after the rain moves out. Get ready for some cloudy and fairly cool conditions through the week. And uh, then next weekend looks like it'll be sunnier and uh, still cool. But uh, we'll be watching the weather, uh, having notes on the blog, an update on the forecast coming up at noon today. No uh, afternoon video. We're just going to be on a one-a-day schedule since the Iron Man's on vacation. But uh, until I get to do that video again tomorrow morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.